God bless you. This is the prophet Apostle King Favor signing. God bless you. I have come to ask you a question. What is it that you are going through that you feel that God cannot handle? What is it that you are going through that you feel that the whole world has ended? What is it that you are going through that you are sharing tears every night? What is it that you are going through that you cannot sleep in the night, you cannot rest in the day? What is it that you are going through that is giving you a heavy burden? What is it that you are going through that everyone around you is laughing at you? What is it that you are going through that even your friends and family don't want to associate with you what is it that you are going through that when you look at your life you look like a mess you look at your health there is nothing that 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 can't be done you have gone from one hospital to the next you are drunk all forms of medicine yet no help you have gone from one doctor to the next doctor but yet no solution the problem still persists nothing seems to be working nothing seems to be done i have come as god's hand of liberation i have come as god's oracle for manifestation i have come representing the doctor of all doctors i have come representing the king of glory i have come representing the lion of the tribe of judah i have come representing the one that can heal you i have come with the mandate of heaven to 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 pray for you one touch from god will change your life one touch from god will liberate your destiny one touch from god has the capacity to change your entire life one touch from god has the capacity to change that situation what is it that you are going through that you feel that god cannot do is it that god cannot do it or is it that your heart is not open to receive it i have come with the word from the lord thus says the lord if you can open up your heart to him he will do for you more than what you can ever imagine the question is is your heart open is your heart open to receive is your heart open for god to do what you want what he wants to do is your heart open are you ready for god to do for you what he wants to do it is one thing to say it with your mouth it is another thing to be sincerely sincere is your heart really open when you receive the word of healing how do you react to it do you open up your heart and receive it like it is a word for you or do you doubt in your heart not knowing what god can do listen to me god wants to perform something in your life as i'm speaking i'm seeing an angel with a basket and on it is a package for you an angel with a basket and on it is a package for you and god is saying are you ready i have seen god i have seen god perform even greater miracle greater than even what you are going through can i shock you with some testimony there was a man from uk a pastor and this man he has heard what god has been doing and he believes and the man wrote me and said man of god i am scheduled to go for a surgery in indonesia 
because I have liquid in my ears and as a result of it I'm feeling serious excruciating pains that I need to go for a surgery immediately please pray for me now I could not call this man and was very busy I could not call him I could not call him to pray for him one on one I sent an SMS I said, sir, you will not go for that surgery in Jesus' mighty name. This man took this SMS as word from the Lord. This man took this SMS with faith. He wrapped the SMS with faith. This man held on to that SMS and believed with the whole of his heart and said to himself, if this man of God could send me this SMS, I believe God can send me my miracle. If this man of God could message me, I believe God can heal me. This man held on to the SMS by faith. He believed with the whole of his heart and he trusted God to do something. The first day passed, nothing happened. The second day, nothing happened. The third day, the man said, okay, let me go to my office and clear my desk and just prepare. Maybe as he was going to, as he went to the office, he was clearing the desk. Lo and behold, he heard the squeakle and liquid came out of his ears and the pains disappeared. Immediately, the man called, picked up the phone and called the doctor in Indonesia and said, Sir, this is what I'm experiencing. And the doctor told him to press some specific regions in the ear and, and observe for any pain. And the man pressed it, but there was no pain. And the doctor said to him, he said, Sir, congratulations. The surgery is cancelled. I don't know what you may be going through but God can heal you this man held on to that SMS by faith he believed that God can do what this prophet decree he believed that if this prophet can pray for me God can do it if this prophet can write me God can perform and lo and behold the man the man sent three thousand dollars for our a, a so winning project to Africa the man was so appreciative of what God has done that he decided to be a blessing to the ministry what are you going through what are you going through there was a young man called Mr. Iowa this man met me I was in a crowded environment this man broke through the crowd and came and said sir i've heard i have seen what god is doing through your life i have a problem this problem i had accident years ago that i fractured my bones because of that i'm experiencing great pains i cannot even walk straight i have to bend if i'm walking please pray for me the place was so crowded i needed a, a quiet environment so i took him by the hand and we went into a nearby uncompleted building an empty building we went in there and i laid hands upon his legs and i prayed for him after praying for him we came out of the building and we were just chatting as we were walking and lo and behold i observed this man was walking straight he was no longer walking bent i shouted mister you are you are walking straight the man turned around he looked at himself he said prophet he said yes so he said i am observing it now i have been i am walking straight no more pains the man began to jump he began to shout he said no more pains i am completely healed this man believed and with the whole of his heart he came believing 
and he obeyed divine instruction. This is a man that should not even go to any unfinished or completed building with anybody. But he broke protocols. He trusted God and he went with me and we prayed and God performed. There are some people, you are the one looking for miracle and yet you are the one for me big man, big woman for God. You can't even humble yourself to obey divine instructions so that God can heal you. You are the one that is needing a miracle from God. And you can't humble yourself to say, God, I surrender my heart. Whatever you say through the prophet, I believe and I obey. Humility is what God is looking for. Humility. Humility. No matter what you are, no matter what you carry, no matter your official position, be humble. When God is speaking through his prophet, listen because it is a word for you. This man followed me to the uncompleted beauty and we prayed. And God healed him. What are you going through? What are you going through? That you feel God cannot heal. I was speaking. I was in one of the Asia countries, Malaysia, and I was uh, 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 approaching a place. I wanted to get some some things, and I saw a young man, and this young man was in tattered clothes. The young man came to me. He said, "Man of God, I've been trying to see you. I could not see you. I could not. I could not get to you." But please, that's why I had to I had to follow you. I had to I had to monitor you to this place. Please, sir, my life is in a mess. I need a miracle. My businesses have crumbled and collapsed. I need God to intervene. And I looked at this young man. I said, Do you believe? This young man said yes. I said, the next time I see you, you will be a millionaire. This young man jumped up with faith. He held on to that word as if he was holding on to something. He held on to that word with faith, knowing that the word of the prophet cannot drop to the ground. When God spoke through Elijah, it came to pass. When God spoke through Elisha, it came to pass. When God spoke through Jer- Jeremiah, it came to pass. When God speaks through Apostle King Faith of Sinai, it comes to pass. This man held on to the word and he believed it by faith. He opened his heart and surrendered his life to Jesus. Listen to me. The next time I saw this young man, I saw a man running to me. And this man was putting on a golden, something like a, like a gushy a, 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 a slipper. He had chains of gold necklace on, on his neck. He was putting on a cap. He was running to me. I stood still because I didn't know what was happening. And this young man came to me. He said, sir, do you remember a man you prayed for years ago and you said the next time you will see him that he's going to be a millionaire? I said, yes. He said, sir, I am the one. I am now a millionaire. He said to me, he said, the moment you prayed for me, all those that have forgotten me in business started calling me. The, 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 those that owed me money started returning back the money. He said, as I'm speaking to you now, I am totally recovered. I am and the young man dipped hands into his wallet and gave me a seat. What is it you are going through? that you feel God cannot do. What is it? What is it? God is saying, open up your heart to me. Let me enter. Let me enter. Don't doubt anymore. 
don't live a life of doubting. Don't doubt my word. Don't doubt my power. Believe. That word that the prophet that I, that I've spoken to Apostle in favor, he said, believe it. Believe it. And begin to act upon it. That divine instruction, follow it to receive your miracle. Follow it. Open up your heart. You cannot tell me that I pray for you and it does not come to pass because my God is able. It is not me that is performing the miracle. It is God and that is the confidence that I have because God is bigger than your situation. God is mightier than what you are going through. He has done it before. He can do it again. Going through. Open up your heart. Do not doubt. Do not, do not, do not grumble in your heart. It is not just by saying it with your mouth that hey, my heart is open. No. When I give you the word, do you believe? Do you have faith? Or do you say in your heart, well, this is just another talk? Can it happen? The moment you see that in your heart, you have lost the miracle. When I tell you, do what you have never done before. Do you go ahead to start doing it and doing it every day? Do you still trust the word, the prophetic word that I've given to you? Do you still hold on to that prophecy and say, yes, I will not let you go, Lord, until you perform this which you have spoken to your prophet. Do you still hold on to it? The fact that you have not seen it does not mean it will not happen. What God is looking at is looking at your response to his power, your response in faith. How well are you holding on in faith? How well do you believe? One word can change your entire destiny. How well do you believe? How well do you believe? How well do you believe? I was in an online session with a lady from the United States. And in the online session of prophecy, I saw in the realm of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit was taking a magnifying lens and looking at the eyes of this woman. And the Holy Spirit said to me, said, pray for her for healing. And I told her, the Holy Spirit is taking a magnifying lens and looking at your eyes. I said, what is wrong with your eyes? She said, man of God, is true. I have great pains in my eyes. So, excruciating pains. I said to her, I said, God will heal you. And we prayed. After the online session, I saw a message from her. She said, man of God, send me your PayPal account. I sent the PayPal and she sent money she was she, she blessed the ministry and i prayed for her lo and behold in less than few days i received a message from her she said man of god as i'm speaking with you i don't have pains anymore in the eyes he said the pains totally disappeared god miraculously healed her then all the pains are gone What are you going through? Open up your your heart. Open up your heart to God. Let God come in and do what he wants to do. Let God come in and do what he wants to do. You cannot tell me that your heart is open. After After praying for you, do you believe? Open up your heart. Open up your heart. You cannot say that your heart is open. After when, when you are jumping from one prophet to the next prophet, from one miracle house to the next miracle house, your heart is not open when you do so because it is, it is as a result of doubt that makes a man jump from one miracle house to the next miracle house, from one prophet to the next prophet. One word from God through a prophet, one prophet can change your destiny. 
you don't need all the prophets in the world you need one true prophet and this is a true prophet from the Lord hold on to it hold on to this ministry hold on to God you cannot say that your heart is open when you are prayed for the next thing you go and sleep with a man or a woman that is not your wife that is not your husband living a life of sin you need to stop all that and open up your heart in sincerity to God and let God come in and walk on you God cannot walk on you when your heart is divided the Bible says you cannot serve God and mammon you cannot be coming to church and still going to a court to seek for healing to seek for financial breakthrough it cannot work you cannot be listening to my messages and still be fornicating committing adultery it it does not work your heart needs to be open your heart needs to be open you cannot receive a message from me and that it and say it will it work or will it not work you die about that the day you do it you lose miracle stop it focus on god when i tell you do what you cannot do before do you obey and constantly every day keep trying it keep doing what you could not do before do you hold on to that word to that miracle word to that prophetic word that i give to you do you hold on to it and believe with the whole of your heart that as i've spoken it shall come to pass because god is faithful to perform i pray for you write to me now there is an angel with a basket and on it is a package for you i see an angel holding a basket and on it is a package for you begin to receive in the realm of the spirit Mende Zubalana Namana Kabayata Pasha Bale Koto Romade Write to me now Write to me Write to me I love to pray for you now Write to me In Jesus mighty name Amen God bless you This is the prophet Apostle King Faith